All right, so recently in the design industry, there's been this trend going around of sort of manipulating text to make it look a little bit more abstract, sometimes involving different kinds of warping or bending of text to make it just a little bit more unique and have a little bit more character. You see this a lot in a lot of merchandise design or t-shirt design. Uh, you definitely see it a lot with different bands and different YouTubers that kind of use this sort of style. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your text go from looking like this to looking like this. Let's get into it. So now we are on my desktop and I'm going to go ahead and open up Illustrator. Obviously that's the program we're using for this. So let's go ahead and let it boot up. Okay, so since this particular project is not going to be printed on anything, uh, the size doesn't really matter of what you wanna make your artboard. Um, it's really up to you and up to personal preference. It doesn't make too much of a difference, especially for this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose 11 by 11, but that is totally subjective. You can pick whatever size you want. All right, so now that we have our document all set up and ready to go, I'm going to click on the text tool and we're going to use the text distort for this tutorial. Obviously, you don't have to use that. You can use whatever text uh, you wanna use for this uh, effect. So I've just center it to my artboard and it should be ready to go. I'm just going to change the font. Uh, I had a particular one in mind, uh, this font called Akira. Um, I think it's a really cool font and makes a bold statement. Um, only issue is the kerning is sometimes a little bit weird if you look at the gap between the D and the I and like the S and the T. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that and then we will move on. Alright, so I went ahead and fixed the kerning for this text. Um, it's not perfect, but it's better than what it was before. Uh, for tutorial purposes, you know, we don't really need perfection here. So I'm going to go ahead and press Shift X to switch this to a stroke. You don't necessarily have to make it a stroke. You could do a fill. You could do a fill and a stroke if you really wanted to. Uh, the effect works regardless. I just think it looks cool with a stroke effect. Uh, afterwards, I'll go back and show you what it looks like with a fill as well. So I'm gonna increase the weight of this to probably four looks good. I'm gonna switch this to round, rounded corners just because I think it looks a lot better. And then I'm going to switch the color to a nice top spec blue. All right. So what we're gonna do here is make sure your text is selected, go to object, and then you're going to go to envelope distort and make with mesh. So essentially what this does is it breaks down your object that you have selected into this, this sort of grid, which is like this mesh that it's referring to. So you can go ahead and adjust if you want to um, how many uh, dividers there are in your mesh uh, it really depends on how much text you have. Uh, obviously, the more um, rows and columns you have, the more technically control you have over the effect uh, because you can sort of go in and make it a little bit more specific. So for this, I'm going to go with three rows. Actually, no, we're going to go by four, with four by four. That looks good to me. So. This, this effect is actually really simple to do with this technique. Um, basically, you want to take your direct selection tool or press A on your keyboard uh, to select that tool. And you're going to just click and drag over um, any four uh, anchor points uh, horizontally. And then we're just going to use the arrow keys and kind of bend this a little bit by just moving it over with the arrow keys. Uh, and this gives you a lot of control what you want to do. You can make it go further. Say you want it to be like this, you can. Um, you can make it completely illegible if you want to make like a sort of like melting effect. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, but I'm going to make it sort of minimal here. You know, make it a little distorted, but nothing too much. And then I'm going to select these vertical ones to add a little bit of a vertical distortion as well. Actually, I'm gonna increase the stroke a little bit here. Just because I think it looks a little, a little cooler. So that's the simple distort effect. Um, this is really a, a very basic um, version of this effect and what you can do with it. Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, not too in your face, but uh, I can show you some other different uh, ideas you can have. So obviously, uh, one of the first things you could do is switch it to just normal text. I kind of prefer the look of the stroke a little bit more. Um, it makes it look um, 
a little bit different with the rounded edges but like i was saying earlier you can obviously go in here if you wanted to let me switch this over to here if you wanted to you can make it sort of like get this melting effect um there's a lot of room for personality and customization with this and what you really are going for and then what you could do is make another one and then sort of make them blend together like this you see this style a lot in a lot of modern uh, merchandise design So yeah, you can go like that, maybe switch this one around to a fill or something like that if you wanted to. Um, but that's the basics of this distort effect for text. Um, obviously, like I said a million times, this has a lot of room for customizability and adding your own twist to it. Uh, this is just the basics of what you want to do with it. Like I showed earlier as well, if you wanted to give it a sort of like wavy effect, you can sort of just select one line kind of make it give it like an exaggerated pull to one side it's very unique it's a very very different style but it's a style that's very in right now so like i said a lot of room for customization a lot of room for your own takes on it so so that's about it for this tutorial so i hope this tutorial helped you out if you're interested in any other illustrator tutorials let us know in the comments below i'll definitely get to it and see if there's any other sort of styles that you want me to demonstrate on the channel. Also, if you're interested in making some cool 3D line art in Adobe Illustrator, I have a video on that. Uh, I'll leave a card up in the right-hand corner for you. So that's about it. I'm Connor, and this is Top Spec. Thanks for watching.